well, we got this 140 degree gas rejected the atmosphere. Why don't we put that through a coil? So that is hot gas reheat. So instead of sending this hot gas to the condenser coil, we sent it to a reheat coil, which is in, which is downstream of the chill water coil. Now, I will tell you in my experience, modulating hot gas reheat is way better from a control standpoint than on off reheat. And that you don't need to be experienced to understand that. You could look at a, a chart and do some calculations and see real quick why that's better. But it used to be modulating hot gas reheat was very expensive and very rare. Now it's kind of a no-brainer. I think most of the big DX manufacturers have that as a standard. When you order reheat, that's what you get as standard. I mean, some of the products we rep, you you have to have a special to get on off reheat because it's really not much of a price yeah. difference today. And the, you know, the benefits of it are immense when you're doing hot gas reheat. So. Absolutely. I, th I think also something uh, with that cycle to point out is when we look at that refrigerant cycle, right, conceptually, we would be able to take that hot gas, put it through that reheat coil and basically bypass the condenser. Um, some equipment, when you're looking at it, may have two refrigerant, two refrigerant circuits in it, three refrigerant circuits in it. So your reheat capacity will vary for a piece of equipment based on how many circuits you're looking at in that piece of equipment.